Hello everyone, welcome to Stoneharv! We're finally back, we're gonna start a new series today on YouTube with the game Stoneharv and we're gonna revisit a place that we haven't been to for a very 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 long time. This is the story of the brave bands of sellers from and today the kingdom we're gonna be playing is gonna be the Ascendancy. The Ascendancy, a prosperous and industrious kingdom seeking a new lands of adventure they set off in. So this is what we're gonna revisit that we haven't been in a very very long time. The archipelago, water everywhere, or sand, whichever is the most disliked. <laughs> a location that is sure to be... whoops. And we're gonna play normal mode, so we do have some enemies going around roaming the sands on the islands. And guys, if you want the name in the game, as always, drop a comment on the video and I will be selecting people to join. I'm gonna be selecting a few people per episode to join us and we are probably going up to a max amount of 20 to 25 Harflings in total. So let's see what we're gonna have here. Emmy of Burlehands, pretty good body, very nice mind and a decent spirit. Doran, can be perhaps a healer? High spirit is good for being a cleric. So good crafter, that can be Doran Mavel. Fostan Heart. Okay, let's go. I kind of like this group. Let's go with this one. So, I think we're gonna go with Food for Days. With Food for Days, we got uh, the Lord Promotion item. We got the Mason Chisel. We got the Farmer Tools. We got a little bit of vegetables. That's always welcome, right? And a little bit of jerky. Some delicious food. Some drinkable juice. Thatch, gold, and free tents. So, that's a pretty good start out. I do think I'm gonna go with this one. So we can do a little farm, that's always good. And we have to move him up to the Greenlands since we're living on the islands with a lot of sands. We do have to try to be on the Greenlands, as you can see here. Look at this beautiful map, by the way. A lot of ancient, awesome creatures. I don't think you can actually find one, but maybe you can. So it's been a very long time since I played this, and I see that they changed it down here. The wildlife is actually fishes, palm trees, and minerals looks the same. So since we're using a mod called Extra Map Options, and by the way, every single mod that I'm using in this playthrough will be linked in uh, the video description so you guys can find the names of every single mod that we're using. But uh, the mod I'm going into now is uh, called Extra Map Option. allows you to customize the map more so you have different sizes. You have a small map, normal, large, and for performance sake, using a small one is a really, really good decision. Then we can enable lakes or dirt holes and we can also set up rivers so we could have like four rivers if I would apply this. We're probably gonna see a few rivers and it can be pretty cool because then they might cross through some islands. You see we get this little cool thing. I kind of like this area. Might even decide to live here. Might do that but we also have other options. We have size narrow, we got size wide, we got location if we want to have plains, foothills, mountains. So we can pretty much remove mountains and there should be pretty much no mountains. It might be that there aren't not, you know, those normally high mountains, but then we also have other things. We have water world, we have super flat, we got canyons, we got skylands. So if we remove water world, this might look like a normal ascendancy green map. Hmm, I guess it doesn't, okay. Might be special for this one, but we do have super flat and canyons. And super flat, often with water world, makes these really small islands. And canyons also make these uh, mountains really, really, really tall. And a map like this could actually be pretty cool. Actually, it could be. Um, let's try to remove canyons. Because I don't think we want to have a canyons. Could be kind of cool though. Oh, wow. That's not very many islands. Let's re-roll that one. Ooh, I feel like this one is pretty perfect. Like, we do have like a big island. And then we have a small island we can reach to if you want to. So I'm gonna go with something like that. That's pretty cool, right? That's gonna be great. Look at all the creatures, some old boat, maybe the Black Pearl, who knows. Here we are guys. And by the way, if you wonder, I also live stream over on Twitch, by the way, I've been doing a lot of stone harv live streams recently, we're playing a Northern Alliance, a Viking town there. So I thought today, like, let's not do the same, let's revisit the archipelago. Ooh, I like this. Look at this, guys. Look at the crabs, they have a crab party. <laughs> this is like that crab dance party. I'm pretty sure all of, all of you guys see that meme, right? <laughs> That's awesome! Over here we have a little half-stranded boat. Pretty cool, right? 
another one here. Got some clams. There's a lot of cool things going around this map. Ooh. What? There's a freaking cave with a skull outside? With undead? Oh my god. I didn't know that. That makes me so excited. There looks to be new flowers since last time that I played. And I will... Ooh. Look, guys. We do have a volcano. Awesome. So cool. There's so many cool things. Maybe we'll discover all cool things now. We're gonna stop with doing that. Because I don't wanna see everything directly, right? Ooh, okay. I have to look here as well. So, we have a pretty cool little area with some stone. We have some cats living here. I just love all these, like, different landmarks that you can find throughout the world. They really make it feel so much more alive. So, if Runa watched this video, I want to say, Man, you've done like, a really awesome job with updating this. It's so awesome. We also have some old ruins here. I might be building here. Maybe we can restart our town here. There was a lost civilization, and that's where we're going to be starting. And then we have some sand. We're definitely going to do a dock for this town. So let's start, start up here in next to the ruins. Here we are, everybody. Got a brand new settlement with our beautiful little halflings. So, let's start with harvesting. If you harvest these trees, as you can see here, you will actually get some coconuts, which is pretty cool. Normally when you play stone harv, when you cut trees, you just get the tree directly, but this time you can actually first can you get some coconuts, as you can see here. Or you can also chop it down later for some good, good wood. A help from the seas. Hi! Nice to meet you. I am Miranda. Want some help? I can talk about a few things if you are new here in the island. Yes, yes, please tell me. Yes, find someone who accepted my help. Follow me. Start looking for wood and food, right? We have both in palm trees. When you harvest them, you first get the coconuts only. Harvesting it a second time, while it has no coconuts, will instead chop it for wood. Just like we've gone through before. Oh, and these big oysters are awesome. Only a fish you can harvest them. Ooh, really? That's I think that changed, right? And their pearls sell for a good amount. Rumors mention a rare block black pearl, but I never saw one myself. Ooh. Take a look around and you may find some shipwrecks. You can scavenge those and find good treasure. Awesome. That's all for now. I'll return later to check how you guys are doing. Bye bye and good luck. See you, Miranda. Thank you for letting us know everything. Is that a boat on her head? I, I guess it's supposed to be a hat. It kind of looks like a boat. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with official seal of the Ascendancy. The bird also carries a name tag, which reads Harold. Hello Harold, how you doing? Dear Expedition 60, I hope this letter finds you well. But my guess, you would like to set up camp by now? Um, I guess we put a flag at least. As your capital liaison, it is my honor to preside remotely over the official founding of your outpost. I trust that you have ample time to choose a name of your journey. As you know, every new settlement must choose the banner. This banner reflects your spirit and vision, the uniting factor which brought the expedition together. What future did you foresee when you embarked on your new quest for township? Banner, hmm? All in your mind, a vision of what your town will one day be. Your banner will set that course and it is up to you to finish it. Choose well, my friends. I eagle await your reply. Yours, Mary Barely Hands. So, we have uh, three different options here, which I'm gonna go through because maybe all of you guys haven't seen Stone Harf before. Many of you guys probably have. So, we have Banner of Vitality, we got Banner of Strength, and we got Banner of Cunning, which is my favorite and the one I'm gonna go for. But still, I'm gonna wanna show you guys what they do. Uh, this settlement shall be at uh, one with the environment. So, you get more wood from trees, plants and crops grow faster, plants uh, have two times the normal appeal, which is kind of how beautiful things are. And that can make people happy as well. If the environment is looking good and not looking, you know, like a dump. Then we have the banner of strength. This settlement will grow strong uh, through earth and steel. The mining is 50% more ore, stone, clay. Hardly no longer mine cramped spaces. So this is the one that could be pretty cool if you like... Maybe if you would live like, like inside of a mountain or something, making a fallout shelter. Which is actually a mod for that kind of now called Harf Tech. I haven't played it myself, but I might do so soon. And then we have my favorite, the Banner of Cunning. 
This segment will be bustling hub of uh, trade. Roads give three times the normal speed boost, which is pretty awesome. Yes, remember to do roads. I don't always do so because I like to not do too many. So I can have a little bit of um, planning to set up my place instead of having it block and everything, right? And traders also bring two times the goods and gold. So this is really good for moving around quickly, getting things done, which is a big thing moving around. And traders will also have goods and gold and you will sell items for 50% more. So instead of having to like farm these things, which take a long time both to farm it and also to move there. You will be able to buy things or just get there really quick. So we're gonna look for a nice little town name for our kind of pirate town, I guess we could say. Okay, I got a name. I was googling a little bit. So, but I'm gonna rename it to Fitas. So it's gonna be Bent Bentonian Bay. That's gonna be our village, Bentonian Bay. Welcome to the Bentonian Bay. Outpost established. Roads give three times the speed. Sell item fifty percent more. Two times the goods and goals. Pretty awesome, right? Awesome, happy people. So since they're so happy, I'm gonna give them some tents. Thanks to the Nordling Kingdom mod, we do have some tents that we can put out. It says this is a Nord tent, a tent to protect you from elements when camping. Hmm. I thought this one should say Ascendancy tent. Hmm. Oh well, oh well. We're gonna set them up. We could kind of be inside the ruins. That could be kind of fun, actually. Let's do that. We might rebuild the ruins later. It could also be our first house. Maybe it could be our first house. Let's make it our first house. Let's do that. Just for fun. It's kind of fun to build in the ruins. And sometime in the future, I'm actually thinking of doing an entire town where people live in ruins. So I will build like an entire town and then I will make it look broken. But then I will also make... Um, so our halflings has like made use of the spaces in the houses and put out some shelters. So it will, it will not look like finished, uh, high quality, fully intact buildings. The bird squawks. You're not sure you have missed. Uh, you're not sure how you missed it before, but the bird was wearing a tiny backpack. It contains a note which reads a little something to help you out to celebrate along with some carrot juice, two ales, two roasted sausages, ooh, a pork corn and bread. A moo, moo milk and four peasant bread and one fruity mead. I guess we can have a little party, guys. My links are gonna enjoy that. The ball bird departs and all the messenger birds scurs off with your official settlement founding declaration in the big carrying it to the vague direction of the capital. Goodbye, goodbye, Harold. Hope to see you again. So, we do have these runes, which we can make into a house, which is a kind of fun idea to do it. And I think I will maybe make this in different stages when we build this. Uh, but before we start building, we're gonna do a few things that are pretty good to do early on. So, we're gonna find our... Someone that has pretty good mind, Foston Hart. Who is Gregar Gregarius. And I might name one Banto as well. So Banto could be our... Could be our Lord, I guess. That would be fitting. I'm gonna be this guy. And this is gonna be Banto. So like I said before, want a name in the game? Let me know in the comments. We have four people for now to be named. Level 1 Carpenter. So let's set up a little carpenter store. We need a workbench, a splitting block. We can do add a tool bench. I like to queue up a few things, even though this is one is level 3. It's pretty nice because whenever we get to level 3, we'll already be prepared for it. Something we might want to do is some early storage. Some small crates, we can do four of those. I definitely want to do some large crates, they're pretty awesome. And we can do some firewood because we use that when we're crafting a few things. And of course we can do a couple of beds. We can start with making... I guess we can make mean beds, but let's go up to do six of these. And I think we could maybe make... Could we make a fissure? That could be good to have early on. Mm -hmm. 
Dora and Mabel. He can be my fisherman, maybe? Okay, we don't have it yet. So, a farmer we're gonna start with. I think it would be pretty cool if we could get like a pirate kingdom, would be pretty awesome. Ooh, guys, look at that. He even had some beautiful waves. Look at that. I haven't played this biome in a very, very long time, so I'm really happy to see this world again. Okay, so we're gonna do some farming and um, let's not have it too far away. So that it don't run away too far. Keep our people safe. So we can grow some turnip. And we can do maybe a little bit of carrots next to it. And maybe that could be good for now. I think that should be good. It's gonna be pretty busy anyway, Doran, planting this. So, uh, look at this cozy place. Our ruins that is soon to be a nice, beautiful building. So, let's start first with making a floor. And I'm just gonna leave it as it is with the walls and we're gonna add things on top of it. So, I'm gonna start with using a pattern for the floor. So, we're using the floor tool this one. Or actually, the road tool is the name for it. So, I'm just gonna fill in like this. So that's pretty good. And uh, then we're the, gonna use the wall tool and um, well maybe the block tool might be better here. Yeah, let's do the block tool. Or let's actually do the wall tool. I would say one thing, if you wanna like be good at building, I'm gonna explain a little bit. Uh, we're gonna check this guy another time, we can't afford it anyway, but it's a mod that allows you to buy different guardians, different pets. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys something, so if we make walls, and we have, you know, we have this thing, building mission. If you use the freestanding wall, always, always make sure that you drag from left to right, because then the wall will hide like this, right? And if we drag from right to left, you see, it will not hide, but it will hide from this side. So always left to right, just like you read a book. You don't read that way in all counters, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's drag it out like that. We can also do this with the blocks if we want to, so we could, if we want to, we could have done like that. But then the important thing is whenever you're gonna start a new thing that is attached to this, like let's say something would be like that, always make sure to tag it as a wall first, so all connected blocks will be the same. So it will be like that, the arrow facing away from you. That makes it hide, should be visible here, hiding from this way. So that's the way you can do it. And let's actually do it with normal blocks. And then we can do freestanding walls on top of here. Okay, so there we got some walls up, guys. And uh, let me know what you think of this. I'm thinking of speed forwarding some design things, and then we could um, have normal speed other times. So let me know, guys. I'm trying it this time, but now we are gonna be recoloring the walls. Okay, so there we have a little bit of recolored walls. And like I said, I'm gonna keep the stone, so we're kinda building a new building on the previous house, and I might even leave this open. I might add something there later, but I might leave it like that for now. Because as this is our kind of like early house that we're making that, we're gonna be living it at the very, very start of our, of our beginning times on this island. So let's put a beautiful door in the front, and let's put a beautiful little door in the back. I think I saw a place where it would fit there. Probably been a door there in the past. And for the entrance, let's do maybe a little bit of a different color. We can always do that. Banta likes to be a little bit creative with things. Always fun. That's one of the things I really like about this game. So that can be the entrance. Can do the same for the other side. Kind of similar way.
Okay, so there we got. Pretty nice. And we could maybe build this in stages. It could be risky to build on top of it, because I think if we build this now, it's not sure we will be allowed to build something on top of it. And uh, the way we can actually try that, just for fun, guys. Let's just build something simple. Here we go. An amazing build. Uh, amazing block, guys. We're gonna build that. But we need a little bit of wood. Ooh, there's some different kind of fruit in this one. Papaya. Okay, nice. Yeah, we're gonna chip down a little bit. I wanna have some for decorations, though. So, I kinda like that palm tree. I'm gonna leave you, Mr. Palm Tree. You're gonna be there still. And you can actually even see the fruits hanging there. I think when I harvest it, it actually goes away. And let's see here. We do have one here, so we're gonna see that pretty soon. Mmm. We could have built it out here as well, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. We can do like a little wall around it later. That could be nice. A little gate to get in. That could be cool. Let's see if we can queue up a gate. A picket fence gate. Let's do that. And not forget to put out the carp and the worker bench. And we're gonna be working kind of right outside of this. Or maybe even inside of the wall. There we go. That should be good. So let's see how our experiment is gonna go here. Yes, yeah, so we can know that the next one hopefully is gonna work as well. And we built a beautiful little block. So, what happens if we build on top of this? It probably will work then, because it would have gone red otherwise. So just make it a tiny bit more advanced, try to build it, and they do build it. So it should be fine. We are gonna let them mess around with that cube while we're designing on the house so they have something fun to do, I guess. <laughs> but that's good, always good to try things. So we are gonna be making this a little, little bit more detailed. Not very much, but a little, little, little bit. And like the, I said with this house, it's not gonna be like a perfect looking house since it's like built on ruins. I think that's kind of the charm to the building that it's not gonna be perfect. And I, li I kind of like that idea. So something like that should give some pretty good, cool colors. What we will do, however, even if we're not going to build an entire building at first, uh, we might want to do the stair. I might do the entire building as one as well, we will see. Uh, but yeah, let's do some stairs. And I kind of like to do stairs in corners. Recently I started to really, really like doing so. So we're going up like that, and then we're turning around, and... Maybe from here we will stop having it so, like, dense. Instead of going up like that. We can also put a chest down there later if you want to. But this way we will get up to the next floor. So I guess we can try to add a floor. And um, I don't know. Should we build this as one house first, guys? What do you guys think? I might actually do so just for fun. Because I never, never do it that way. So let's do that. Let's build it. That way we should get up a little bit of net worth early. So the idea with this house is this is going to be our early beginning start of house. This is where we are going to be living with our people. I'm actually going to try to get beds for everyone early on, which is a rare thing for me to do. I tend to wait to get them luxurious houses, so people have to freeze in the, in the cold for a few years. Until I decide that everyone actually needs a bed. <laughs> it's very rude, but... It is honestly how it goes when I when I play this. I get so busy designing and being creative, but I, but I really love being so. So, I wonder, can I actually add... If I take the new, build, new building, can I actually attach to this already? It seems I can. It's red now. I think when we do this... Huh. It is red for some reason, but I think if we... Let's see here. We're just gonna wait. Let's wait until it's done. It's gonna be super quick. Since we didn't add a lot of like furniture, we only like really made doors. It's gonna go really, really quick to build this anyway. Let's see for the gate here. 
It should be possible to have there, or we can have it here. Maybe here would be nicer, actually. That's kind of fitting. Then we can prepare, maybe and repair the wall. Perhaps we can have picket fences where it's missing. Or we would do the same color. I might do picket fences just to kind of keep the ruins. And uh, let's see here, we got a beautiful little box that we worked on before. I'm gonna put a little bit of loot on up, up here, just for fun. Try to get it away from there, that's pretty good. Okay, we need a little bit more wood, guys. Let's harvest a few palm trees, first get the coconuts. But yeah, let's see this one. As you can see, the fruit actually goes away. I'm not sure if it's called a fruit though, but I'm calling it a fruit today. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of flowers. That's good when we get a herbalist later. The herbalist is the one that uh, crafts a healing potion, bandages, seeds, and all kinds of beautiful things. And in the upcoming Ace version, we will be able to have even more things to do with herbalist. We're also getting a brand new profession, the brewer, that will work with drinks. Which reminds me that we need to do an... Um, a well, we need to build a well. So with Ace, people need to drink as well. And if we go to this one, then we do have this dig a water well. And I'm gonna have it right side out of our building over here. That's where we're gonna be drinking. Ooh, we got some smaller crates, that's good. So I'm gonna place them next to the carpenter for now. Two of them there. Then maybe we can have two of them next to this thing. That should be good. Talking about berries, I think. Oh no, turnips, turnips. They're happy about that. <laughs> Them freaking turnips. <laughs> Every talk is about turnips, it seems. Pretty awesome, right? Look at them. Hungry little fustan eating. We should also get some shares. That's another thing we should do. That should make it a lot better for them when they can eat. So we have simple, we have wooden share, a few other ones. Um, I'm gonna go for maybe this one. I kind of think this is it's quite cute. So let's do that. We're also gonna need some tables. Um, table for one, dining table. Let's do some dining tables. Can do three of them. And perhaps we can queue up to do some benches. They're good. Beautiful as well. Can do two of those. And then we got a splitting block. Yeah, very handy for splitting logs into more useful wooden blocks. Pretty awesome. And I guess we can do that, you know, a little bit outside, like this side. They can walk over here still. But I feel like that's better to have the wood cutting outside because it would get a lot of wood splinters and stuff there, right? Okay, the building is almost done. Pretty awesome. I think we still need to gather a little bit more wood though. So what we can do to make sure we gather that is to take uh, one person, uh, Emmy and uh, maybe even maybe even Banto to not do building. So instead it will be hauling items then there will also be mining, not mining, there were shopping trees. But they can mine trees as well. Maybe we get some diamond logs from them. <laughs> Wouldn't that actually be kind of cool to get some kind of like diamond logs or some special tree that's a lot tougher than your normal wood? Just like you have with the mining ore, it would be kind of cool with trees as well. Okay, I think we should have enough for this one now. We need to do some doors. Let's maybe make the farm a little, little, little bit bigger. So perhaps we can mine this away here. Then we can expand the farm a little bit more. And we we'll probably need to get a cook pretty soon. We are having a lot of food for now though, so we're pretty good. The town morale is really good. Your citizens are incredibly happy living here. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> and we're gonna try to make them happy. We're gonna try to keep them happy. A happy half is a good person. That's one thing I noticed, like, I started working on a job this summer and... Uh, Hopefully I will continue working as well there. And also got a new apartment, so I'm moving in in mid of September. I'm moving into my very own apartment, so it's gonna be really awesome. Only five minutes from work with a bike. 
Uh, but something I noticed recently, like this year, is that I really love making people happy. That's like the best thing you can do, because it also makes you happy to make someone else happy. And I feel like that's pretty awesome. Like today, or not today, yesterday, there was, uh, there was a person that was going off the bus that had like an, uh, some help thing that you push in front of you so you can walk and she needed help she was screaming a bus no one was helping her so i heard her and like okay i'm gonna help you why not it's super easy for me to do and uh, that just makes me happy to be able to make people smile and help people do you guys also like that to make people smile make them happy okay let's see if we can get these doors going Uh, let's have uh, maybe a little bit of storage of wood here. Or set up these to not have anything except for wood. We can also do construction, that's also fine. So that's filters for what we want to have in the boxes, pretty much. <laughs> Austin, can't you get back crafting the last two doors? We really need those two doors and we're going to be done with the building. Please do them. <laughs> <laughs> He's just chilling, vibing with the people. I mean, that's pretty good as well, I guess. But he needs to do a little bit of building. Or constructing, that is. Making some doors. I just noticed the construction time on this one seems very long. Let's see how long it is. 60? What? Look at the difference. I have to report this. Uh, who made this one? Robust door. Crafting time 60. Look at the normal door, guys. 8, 11. No wonder some of my houses take a lot of time sometimes to make those doors. It's a pretty old model, uh, settlement decoration. I'm, I might ask some people to change it. No wonder it took so long. <laughs> I love those doors though, they are beautiful. Okay, we got the last door. That's the last part of the building. And after that, we're gonna push in maybe some beds. Look at that, guys. Got our first house going. Let's get some beds in here. It's gonna look a little bit cramped in the beginning, but at least we're gonna have beds. So that means we will have... I'm gonna put this one here. Got four, five, six, seven beds. We have five people, we have more beds than people, that's very rare. But yeah guys, this is gonna be the first episode of the game, Stoneheart, with our new town. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And they're just gonna come more soon. And like I said before, drop your name suggestions in uh, the comments, I will select people a few ones per episode to be named in the game. So thanks for watching today and feel free to check out my Twitch channel as well. Link in that is in the description of the video. Like the video if you enjoyed and follow me on Twitch, Twitter if you want. And uh, I will be back soon with new videos. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your days everybody.